Hello and uh, welcome to this exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to use Teamwork. Now, Teamwork is a project management software which allows you up to five users per plan for free. Now, Teamwork has a straightforward user interface that will help you to manage your teams and enhance collaboration and definitely uh, enhance engagement. So, to use Teamwork to manage your projects, you simply come to teamwork.com and it will bring you to this site. So, the good thing with Teamwork, if you click on pricing, you notice that you can use it for free forever. That is for the free version, only that it will be limited up to five users per plan which is good enough for small companies which may not need so many collaborators. So to try that free plan, you simply come here and click on get started. You can sign up either with Google or with your email. In this case, I'm going to sign up with my email, then password, then the name, and then you click on get started for free. And then, you now set up your teamwork account, which sector best describes your company. So you choose your industry here. So we have quite a lot here. So in this case, I'll choose entertainment and media. How many people are in your company? So I'll choose between one to five. So and of course here you choose depending on your company. What role do you perform in the company? So in this case, you can choose one. And then the company's name. Let me change that to Josh Studios. Then I click on continue. That will bring you to this page. And uh, they also give you some guide to help you personalize your teamwork project management account. So what do you want to do with teamwork? In this case, let's just write manage, click on managing projects. And of course you can click on more than one. So in this case, we just click on managing projects and you click on continue so you can now set up your first project here so you give your project a name so eg website redesign in this case i'll give this project the name youtube tutorial and then i'll click on continue and then what are the first few things that you have to get done in this project so maybe i'll write research, then recording, and then editing. Maybe I can change this to scripting and recording. Then I click on continue. Then I can now select the view, either board, table, or list. I prefer the list, just like it appears here. So I click on list. So you notice on this side, it shows you how it will appear. That is how list will appear. If I click on board, this is how it will appear. If I click on table, this is how it will appear. So let me go with the list. Then I click on continue. Then here, you invite your teammates to your first project. How do you do that? You simply type the emails here and then you click on continue. So. I'm just going to give the email here to another collaborator and I'll just click on continue. So with that, it takes me now to the project dashboard. So you now notice our project, that is YouTube tutorials, has already been given here. So you notice something about teamwork, project management. You will have the project task list and task. In this case, this is our project and we have already added our task list, which included research, scripting and recording, and then finally editing. Now, to complete this project, we now have to add the task, specific task to this project. So, we can add that by clicking on add a task and then we will be able to assign that. So in this case, 
let us call this task research on tutorial one so that is our task under task list so research on tutorial one then who do i assign this i come down here it's already selected anyone but in this case i just click on that button if i scroll down you notice that we already sent an email to joshnet001 therefore we can assign this task to him so we just click on that so you notice now it's already assigned then here we can select the start date so it's possible to just decide it starts in a day or in seven days in this case let me select it starts in one day time and i can also decide it ends in seven days time that is the start date and the due date i have the option to notify them by email so i check this box if i uncheck that box then they won't be notified through an email so i'll click on that to notify them by email then here i can provide a detailed description for this task in this case i need joshnet to do research on tutorial one then i can now give all the details here so that is the message if i am satisfied with that i will now click on create task but before that if for instance this tutorial one maybe i have some videos that i would want him to use i simply come here and i can change all this i can make this text to be in bold all this just click on that another thing you notice up here i can add files to this task maybe i need to add that book maybe in a pdf or maybe the specific sample that i want to use i can add it under files then i can come to priority i can either give it a priority then i can either choose none low medium or high then i can also decide to track time the progress maybe in terms of hours then i can also add the followers tags and uh, more so for more here what we can do with more is that if i now for instance click on privacy there you notice that down here you can decide who can see this task in this case everybody on the project but you notice sometimes you possibly don't want the client to see the project so in that case even if you added the client you might have to decide to click on either one maybe you can add on that and remove the others but in this case we are just going to have all of them so i can add more people in this one but i decide they are not going to be seeing this specific part of the task so if now i'm satisfied with the settings i have made i'm going to click on create task so here now we have our youtube tutorial and we have these tasks but only one task has been assigned to a specific person in this case we have given the task on research for tutorial one if i just bring the cursor on this you can see the details it has already been allocated we have when it is beginning we have the calendar there in case we had added any files and comments we can see them there so that is how now i can create and assign task if i need to add another task i will simply click on this plus maybe research on tutorial 2 i can just type it there in this case we don't want to add another task so i'm just going to click cancel so that we only have it looking this way so if now i click on my project up here the three arrows you notice i can still edit my project i can copy the project i can have the budget but i can also delete the project but under more options you notice i can also set the owner and i can also reassign items that is if now i possibly want to change the person i had assigned i can use here reassign items and i can even change the whole project without having to delete it another thing that you may also notice is that we can rearrange these tasks so that we can have them in a certain order to do that 
You simply come to where the task is. Maybe for instance, we want research on tutorial one to be the first task on my task list. So I'll simply come to the research on tutorial one. Then I click on that and drag it upwards. Then I drop it. You now notice research on tutorial one is the first one. So if now I click on board, it will take me to the backlog. So it will show me the backlog. So to do, I see here we have a research that needs to be done and it's already published, but we also have a draft task that is for scripting and recording. Why it is in draft is because we have not completed it in terms of assigning the way we assigned the first one for research on tutorial one. Once these projects begin, they will be under in progress here. They'll come to in progress. And the way I showed you earlier, once a project or a task is complete, then you'll be able to add it in completed. And you can also do that manually by adding the card here. If now I click on the plus sign here, then I can add a list card. In this case, maybe let me add just a list card and uh, call it done before time. Then I'll click on save. So you notice now we have a list card and a completed that we have called it done before time. So once we come back to our list, you notice under task cards, we already have the one for done before time. So if now I click on dashboard, it will be able to give me a visual representation of my whole project. So YouTube tutorials, this is a dashboard. It has the tasks. Mine are two. It has a total of six tasks and gives me the whole breakdown whether we have any that are started, any starting today, any that are upcoming. And then it's just a visual representation. It can give me the breakdown. Down here, you notice the users. We have one with 50%. We have another one with 33. And then we have one with 16% in terms of active tasks that have that can be assigned or have been assigned. So if I click back home, it also shows me almost the same thing as the one that was appearing on the dashboard. We have the upcoming, uh, the one for scripting and recording. We have the research also, and then the priorities have been set here. And you notice all these are under YouTube tutorials. If I need to add any task to this, I'll simply click on add task. So finally, let us look at this side of our dashboard. You notice here we have templates, we have time, and then we have more. So for templates, we can choose templates for such a project. And then for time, if we click on time, it shows us all the time that has been logged in. For instance, down here, you notice we already have a sample, Philip Hall, task competitor analysis, and then billable and he has already logged in for eight hours we have the second one who has billed for two hours and 30 minutes so you are also able to track time effortlessly using teamwork so if i click on more you notice i also get these items we can do the planning we can also look at the reports and then we can also have the calendar and we can add people so how we add these people we can simply if i click on that you notice I am under people and I'm the only one present plus the other person that I added here plus our emails at the end here. So I can also add companies. If I click on companies, you notice I only have one company so far, the one that I added in the beginning. But if I want to add more companies, I can add company here. I just click on add company then I can give all these details for the company. I can also add the image for the company. If I do that and I click on add company, then it will be added down here. I can also see the templates. 
You notice all these are templates that we can also use. And using a template is easier because you will simply edit that to fit what you want. Maybe it's about account management. You are going to use this template and all these templates, most of them are so free. Maybe it's a template on social media. You are going to basically look for one that fits you so that once you want to do the editing, it becomes so easy for you. I hope this has been helpful and I hope you'll be able to use Teamwork which is a simple project management software, which is also very straightforward to use with a very simple user interface. Kindly like this video, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.